Here are two methods of registration on the CNP or any letterpress. We're going to start by inking up the press. The platen has been dressed. We've got a form ready to print. Once the disc is inked, we install the chase and turn the press over by hand. We're printing polymer plates for this video. So we double check to make sure that our roller height and our pressure and our ink look okay. I have a piece of mylar hinged to the platen. I put the throw off lever into the print position and we'll take an impression on the mylar. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we wanna see where the image is going to lie. Here I've got a guide sheet. I've made some simple marks with pencil to indicate where I want aspects of this particular image to hit. And now I slide the paper in behind the mylar. We've done this before. I get it lined up exactly the way I want it. I'll peel back the mylar and then using a sharp pencil, trace around the bottom and two sides of my sheet. It may seem obvious, but it's really important to note that fine registration in letterpress really relies on paper that has been uniformly and accurately cut. Torn paper doesn't work quite as well. Once that's done, I can remove my sheet, I can remove the mylar and clean off the ink, and get ready to set my foam registration tabs. It's important that these tabs are sticky, and if they have lost some of their stickiness, it's a good idea to place some double-sided tape on the underside. These things are really great for printing on polymer plates because they don't get squished in the press, but they do have a tendency to lose their stickiness, and when they lose their stickiness, the accuracy of placing your paper on the press bed really diminishes. So here's a nice close-up of what your paper looks like when it's put into place against the registration tabs. So we're going to take our first impression on paper. We've done this before, or we've seen it before anyways. That lever is forward and we turn the press over by hand. And there's a pretty decent impression. Again, if you've got problems with ink or pressure, they can be addressed after the registration is set up. But we got lucky this time, and now I can begin printing. And here's my nice stack of prints. Now in a sec here we're going to fade to black and then open back up on the first of the registration methods we're going to talk about when it comes to printing a second or third or fourth or fifth layer. This is called the stick-on method. It's kind of a tricky method in the sense that it allows you to skip some steps, namely using the mylar, changing your registration tabs, changing the dressing on the platen, all of those things. So we remove the old polymer plate, we're going to set that aside to clean, um, but we've left everything else in place with the exception of the ink rollers and the disc, which I've changed over to a darker color here. We're going to print black. So I take plate number two, and I'm using masking tape. I'm making little loops of masking tape. I don't need many, just a couple generally. And I'm placing them on the print side of the plate. You'll note that I've peeled off the backing of the plate, so the backing is all entirely sticky right now. And what I've done is I've carefully lined it up on one of my impressions and then taped it right to the paper. This piece of paper is probably going to get damaged in the process and not worth saving, so we're sacrificing it to set up the registration. And here, using the exact same setup, the exact same tabs, we haven't changed a thing. We're going to very carefully, with the press on impression mode, that is the throw off lever is away from you as the operator, we're going to slowly turn the press over by hand. And what's going to happen is all that sticky back part on the plate is going to attach itself to the boxcar base along with the paper. Because of course the paper is attached with those little loops of tape. But there's much more tape and it's much stickier on the backing of the plate. So carefully I pull that paper out of the way and I'm going to pull off my little tabs of tape. I'm going to push it all down and make sure that it's stuck everywhere that we want it to. 
And what we have effectively done is placed plate number two precisely in the place where it will line up with everything that we printed from plate number one. So let's load in one of the sheets that we printed from plate number one, set them against the tabs, and again, turning it over by hand just to make sure everything is gonna go okay. Take an impression. And almost like magic, it's perfectly lined up. Here's the other method, the Mylar method, for setting up plates number two and three and four and so on. The Mylar method you've seen before, we actually used it to get printing in the very first place. With the Mylar method, we need to remove the foam registration tabs, and sometimes we have to change the packing and the tympan. Place our piece of now clean Mylar hinged back onto the bed of the press, and then slide in an impression from our first plate underneath the impression that we just took on the Mylar, line it up, using a pencil mark the bottom and the sides of the sheet, place our registration tabs, turn the press over by hand to check, and if everything goes well, we print. The Mylar method is a little bit more work in the sense that you're removing tympan or at least erasing the pencil marks from the original tympan. You've removed the tabs and you're resetting them. But in many ways it's much more accurate. It, either of these methods will work, the Mylar method or the stick-on method but it really just depends on the nature of your image. If you've got an image that needs to be registered to a hair's width, the Mylar method is usually better. But if your image can potentially survive a millimeter out of registration or two even, the stick-on method works just fine. And before we close out this video, here's a couple of glamour shots of the foam tabs taped to the tympan up close. Despite what you might think, a 110-year-old cast iron press is capable of very fine registration, but like everything in printmaking, it's all in the prep.